Okay, sir. Allah Rahman Rahim. Let uh, in the previous class uh, we had uh, made discussion on uh, some of the uh, concept, some of the definitions. Uh, in the previous class, we have discussed a, a structural uh, uh, a model uh, and uh, how the variables are uh, uh, entered in this uh, structural model. Uh, so uh, we we have uh, already shown uh, a model m equation m endogenous uh, equation m endogenous model with m equations uh, the purpose is uh, you have some uh, learning uh, the, uh, what is the structure equations what is the reduced sum equations what is the behavioral equations so uh, you can look at the screen that is like a model and this model is a structural model and uh, in this models uh, structure model is a model uh, that show the structure of the economy uh, or it shows the behavior uh, of the economy uh, 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 structure of the economy mean economic model of the uh, or behavioral uh, any of the structural equation can also show the behavior yani any of the structural equation may be uh, uh, behavioral equation hai because it show the behavior of the producer it show the behavior of the uh, consumers so this is a structure models or uh, in this structure model there are two type of variables are be are being entered uh, one is the endogenous variables and other is the predetermined variables uh, y1 y2 yn uh, ym all are the endogenous variables uh, these are the uh, jointly dependent variables are uh, mutually determined determined variables and uh, on the other hand x1 x2 xk uh, that is appearing in the model uh, that is these are called as the uh, predetermined variables and error terms that are appearing in the models that is called the stochastic variables and on the other hand betas uh, betas are the uh, parameters of the uh, structural uh, equation uh, parameter of the endogenous variables on the other hand gammas are the uh, parameters of the uh, your exogenous variables so there are two type of variables that are appearing in uh, this uh, uh, models one is the endogenous variables and other is the exogenous variables so to mashallah aa gaya so endogenous variables are uh, those variables uh, that are uh, determined within the models and the predetermined variables are those variables that are determined outside the models uh, a short while we will look at uh, what are the endogenous variables and what does it means to how these are determined from the models and uh, what are the endogenous variables Uh, for example uh, you have a, a model of keynesian model of income determination in which one uh, uh, model is the consumption model is uh, c is equal to uh, beta naught plus beta 1 uh, yt plus error term and the second model is your second equation is y is equal to c plus psi so so uh, in the uh, this Uh, simultaneous equation models y and c are the endogenous variables and i is the predetermined variables uh, you can uh, i is the predetermined or the uh, given variables whose values are already known to us it is given to us so there is no need 
uh, to determine the value of exogenous variable, there is no need to solve the models. But on the other hand, uh, to determine the uh, values of uh, equilibrium values of the uh, income level and the equilibrium value of the consumption levels, we have to solve the model. <clears throat> so, uh, So, uh, similarly, the predetermined variables are divided into two categories. Uh, one is uh, current exogenous, and the other is current. Uh, one is the current exogenous as well as the lagged exogenous. That is the two that fall in the exogenous variables. Any exogenous variables are of two types. One is the current exogenous. A current exogenous means that is in period T. And lagged exogenous mean the value of the exogenous variables in the previous period. Let's it is t minus one. You can look at where the cursor is. Okay, if this is the value of variable x one, this is the current value because it is x one t. X one is the variable, and t is means the value of x one in period t. And here you can look at that it is x1 t minus 1 it means it is the value it shows the value of x in period t minus 1 so this variable is the lagged exogenous variable and this variable is current exogenous variables and this is the lagged endogenous variables because the y1 is the endogenous variables and it is the this is this variable shows the value of y1 in period t minus one. So it is also a lagged endogenous variable. So uh, the current exogenous, lagged exogenous, and lagged endogenous variables are considered as predetermined variables. Uh, so uh, next uh, uh, we look at the uh, behavioral equations and uh, the reduced form equations. Uh, equation appearing in 19.1.1 uh, that is your a structural equation model uh, that we, uh, we have looked at a uh, few minutes ago. Okay, that model 19.1 uh, are known as the structural or behavioral equation. Why it is structural or behavioral? Because uh, among these models, uh, maybe some of the equations show the structure of the economy and some of the equations show the behavior of the economic agent. So uh, they are uh, the, both uh, these equations model uh, portrayed the structure of an economy or the behavior of an economic agent. Economic agent means a consumer, a producer. Uh, betas and gammas are known as the parameter of the structural parameter or structural coefficients. So this is uh, uh, up to the uh, uh, we have learned so far and we have already learned it uh, in the previous uh, lecture. So uh, the today lecture is basically is going to start uh, with the reduced form equation. So what is a reduced form equation? A reduced form equation is one that express an endogenous variable solely in term of predetermined variable and the stochastic disturbance term. So when you look at the equations, there are two sides of the equation. One is the left side, other is the right side. So on the left side, we always see that there, there are uh, dependent variable. If we look at the single equation that we are dealing with the single equation, the left side variable on the quality is called as the dependent variables. And the variable on the right side of the quality are called as the independent variables or the exogenous variables or the quality variables. But when we are talking uh, with reference to the simultaneous equation model, the variable on the left of the quality is called as the endogenous variables and variable on the right of the quality is called as the uh, predetermined variable. So 
in the reduced sum equation you can see that the variable on the right uh, uh, side will be uh, the only variable that are predetermined and stochastic any on the right side in the reduced sum on the right side of the reduced sum equations we have only the variable that are predetermined and the stochastic distance term so it is the definitions of uh, the reduced sum that a reduced sum equation is one that describe that show an endogenous variable solely in term of predetermined variables and the stochastic disturbance term it means that endogenous variables depends on predetermined variables only and the stochastic disturbance so look at uh, uh, you see we can see its examples we to explain uh, the reduced sum equations to get the understanding of the reduced sum equation let consider the keynesian model of income determination so we have a consumption model we have a consumption function that is ct equal to uh, d naught beta naught plus beta 1 y t plus r t so and the second is the income identity this is a structural model uh, in this uh, one equation show the behavior of the economic agent and other equation both are the equation but one equation show the behavior behavior of the economic agent that is consumer here and other equation show the structure of the economy so uh, this this is the behavioral equation because this equation show the behavior of the consumers behavior of the household because it shows that as consumption as income increases consumption increases income decreases consumption decreases it shows that how a consumer behave how a consumer responds uh, to change in the income level so it shows the behavior of uh, the household so it is a behavioral equation the second equation uh, this is the income identity it shows the structure of the economy it shows that economy is based on the two sector only one is the household and other is the farms so in this model you can see that this model we had already been discussed in the previous chapters when we have looked at when we had examined the simultaneity issues and in that uh, in this examples we had already shown that c and y both are endogenous variables because these two variables are interrelated with each other we had already shown it mathematically we had already shown it so diagrammatically and we have shown that how this shift in how this change in how the shock in the error term shift the consumption function and with the shift in the consumption function you are um, you are uh, with the shift in the consumption function uh, the equilibrium value of both the uh, uh, aggregate consumption and the aggregate uh, income will change so uh, in this models uh, in this models uh, uh, there are two endogenous variables one is c and the other is y and one of the predetermined variable that is i so both these equations are structural equation as we have as we uh, already told the the first equation is structural but it is the behavioral equation because it shows the behavior of the household and second equation is uh, your uh, also structural equation but it shows the structure of the economy and it shows the economy is based on the uh, two sectors one is the household other is the farm and the m beta is the mpc that is the uh, marginal compulsory consume and its value is between uh, zero and one so if you uh, want to estimate this model uh, uh, consumption function within this simultaneous equation model uh, if we estimate it, we 
can get beta not beta 1 but these estimate will be biased and these estimate will be inconsistent because the c and y you can see that your uh, y depends upon c here but here c depends upon y it means both c and y are determining each other they are mutually de dependent they are interrelated so uh, within the model within the symmetry model you cannot estimate any of the equation isolately or individually if we estimate the estimates will be biased the estimate will be inconsistent so uh, how can we derive the reduce from uh, from this structure models so to derive the reduce from uh, from the structure model we substitute this value of consumption functions into the income identity here uh, we substitute the value of c in the income identity and then solve so uh, this is the uh, uh, solution values of this is your reduce form how we get it uh, after substituting uh, the consumption function into income identity and then uh, manipulating or uh, reshuffling uh, the parameter from one side to other finally we uh, got uh, this equation this is the reduce form and this parameter pi naught pi naught is equal to beta naught over one minus beta one and pi one that is equal to one over one minus beta one you can solve it yourself and look at uh, uh, you will when you solve it uh, you can see that uh, in place of pi naught we have beta naught one minus beta one and in place of uh, uh, pi 1 we have 1 over 1 minus beta 1 and to simplify the things to understand the things we represent this beta naught over 1 minus beta 1 is equal to pi naught and 1 over 1 minus beta is equal to pi 1 so when we replace uh, we substitute this one and after substituting pi naught and pi 1 for these we get uh, this reduced sum equation now you can see from this reduced sum equation that this is the your endogenous, endogenous, endogenous variables and we have defined uh, the reduce sum equation as the reduce sum equation is one that express the endogenous variable solely in term of the predetermined variable and stochastic disturbance and you can see your endogenous variable is depending on we are predetermined variable IP and the stochastic disturbance that is WT. On the same way, uh, you can get another uh, 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 reduced sum equation that is for uh, other endogenous variable that is the CT. Uh, you can uh, solve it, uh, and you can see okay, when you solve, uh, you, when you derive uh, the uh, reduce from for uh, consumption you have the same set of variable on the right side of the consumption equations so the common characteristics is okay, uh, the number of uh, reduced form will be equal to a number of endogenous variable any is the meaning here endogenous variable honge utni hi aapki reduce form hongi aur jitni reduce form hongi all the reduce form have the same set of variable on the right hand side yani if you uh, look the right hand side of the reduce form equation of y and the reduce form equation of c the right side will be same same in the sense if the variables and uh, predetermined variable will be same in both the equations. Uh, quotient uh, uh, is, is just a symbol. Uh, let's say okay, in this equation, the uh, quotients are pi naught, pi one, rather if you have the C, uh, second reduce some equation that is for the consumption function. In this, you can see 
that you have quotient are pi 2 plus pi 3 i i t plus v t so v t is stochastic disturbance and i t is the uh, your predetermined or uh, uh, rest pi 2 and pi 3 are the your